She chose clay pigeon shooting. Why? We don't know. Take a look. In the town of shooting ground to meet one of my own. Yes, a flame-haired lady. No, not Blonnet. Not Bosco. Janet Devlin. Do you remember her from The X Factor? 2011, she came fifth. And I've dressed accordingly. In fact, here she is. Awkward. Janet, just give me one second. I decided to uh, take, take you out of familiar surroundings and bring you to Courtlock Shooting Ground. I presume you've never shot a gun before. I have. You have? Yeah. <laughs> oh, when? Uh, when I was younger, I used to do uh, handgun shooting, so this is a bit different. So you're, uh, your dad had a shotgun, did he? Yeah, my dad has a shotgun. Okay, so this is clay pigeon shooting. You've never done that before? No. Okay, because I have. <laughs> okay. So, Janet, 2011 was your year in the X Factor? Yeah. Uh, you came fifth. The reason you got, didn't go further was because of one Louis Walsh. <laughs> so now that you have the cartridges in your gun, is it going to be Louis that you're shooting at? No. No? Nope. He's too nice. He's too lovely. You're still friends with him? Yeah. I still keep in contact with him, yeah. But tell us about your album, Hide and Seek. You wrote all the tunes on it. Um, Co-wrote and, and wrote. Um, and got a co-write with uh, Newton Faulkner. So we had the song from that or on the album, which is really cool. Actually, the title track, Hide and Seek, is there. So pretty good. I got amazing people got involved and it was really good, good fun. <laughs> hey! Right! Okay. Uh, okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Courtney Love got in touch with you while you were on the X Factor, is that right? Yeah, she did. Um, to tell me that Kurt Cobain was my relative. <laughs> Kurt Cobain is related to you? Apparently so. So what did she say to you? She gave you permission to, to sing an Nirvana song? Yeah, which is weird because that's never happened before ever. Yeah. No one's ever allowed to sing Nirvana. So it was really weird. But it was really cool because I actually had like a Nirvana poster up in my X Factor bedroom. So. Brilliant. So, yeah. Amazing. It's really cool. Um, I was looking on your Twitter and you describe yourself, Janet, as a singer, songwriter and full-time unicorn. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, I don't, I'm not particularly <laughs> sure. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just a bit of an odd thing. Is it? Yeah, well, that's what I sort of call my fans because they're weird and majestic. And oh, yeah, because, you know, okay, so instead of calling them the Devlins or the Devos or... Yeah, we've got unicorns. Unicorns? Yeah. So you have 396,000 unicorns following you on Twitter. Yeah. That's amazing. I have 3,000. Yeah. Any chance of retweet? <laughs> yeah, why not? Excellent. <laughs> Any famous fans, Janet? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on, you can name drop, go on. I mean, are we going for Twitter? People who follow me on Twitter kind of yeah. thing? Yeah. Okay, uh, we've got Harry Styles, <gasps> Niall Horan. No way! David Walliam, lots of, cool, lots of cool folks. Have you hung out with One Direction? Uh, once before, yeah, I think. Yeah. I mean, not in a long time. If you had to. Which one would you? Oh my god, that's so bad. Um, oh, come on, you gotta pick one. If I had to pick one? Yeah. Should I stay local and just go Irish and say no? It's too easy. It's too easy? Yeah. Well, Harry's obviously, because he looks like um, looks like Mick Jagger, doesn't he? He does look like a young Mick Jagger, yes, as Louis Walsh would say. So I'd go for Harry Styles too. Yeah. I'll fight you for him. <laughs> Next one wins. <laughs> Harry Styles. <laughs> Four. Ah. <laughs> oh. Did I get it? Yeah. Yeah. Together.